character filled place is the Wong Wian train station. And it looks like the 12 o'clock to Ma Cha is about to take off. So if you're looking for a character filled place to take a few photographs or wander around, then Wong Wian train station I would I would recommend. Such an interesting neighborhood here. I'm at King Taxon Shrine and it's bloody hot. There's not one bit of shade in this whole park, so I'm melting. Not only that, it's very difficult to cross the road here. Uh, it's pretty, uh, a pretty busy roundabout. But despite the challenges, I'm happy to be here. Let me tell you about this monument. So this is Ting King Taxon the Great, also known as the King of Tonburi. Although warfare occupied most of Taxon's reign, during his reign, he paid a great deal of attention to politics, administration, and the welfare of the country. Taxon promoted trade and fostered foreign relations. In, in particular, relations with China, but also with Britain and the Netherlands. At the time, the British were, uh, had colonized neighboring country, uh, Myanmar, and the Netherlands were to the south, they occupied Indonesia. Yeah. So during Taxon's reign, he was quite busy uh, building infrastructure. He dug canals, built roads, and also renovated a great number of temples in the area. He also made some attempts to revive literature and the arts, and also had a, and started to acquire a great collection of uh, literature, including religious uh, re literature, and he tried to revive religious studies at the time and education in general. When Taxon established Tonbury as his capital, people were living in abject poverty. The king was well aware of the plight of his subjects and tried to do his best to uh, improve their life. Oh, finally, the, uh, <laughs> the, sun's, the sun's gone behind some clouds, finally. Oh, so darn hot out here. During King Taxon's reign, uh, he was most, most concerned with the abject poverty the people were living in. Uh, so he put a lot of attention to try and solve this problem. In fact, he, one of the things he did was uh, import a lot of rice. So he, out of his own pocket, paid for rice and distributed rice amongst the people, uh, which was greatly appreciated at the time. And because of his uh, generosity, and kindness in distributing the food to the uh, people living in poverty, the, gr the country gradually started to recover. Uh, and what they were coming out of was that period of war from the uh, Burmese, uh, the Burmese attacks from Ayutthaya. One of Taxon's contemporaries, Francois Henri Turpin in 1771, wrote this about the famine conditions. Taxon showed his generous spirit the needy were destitute no longer. The public treasury was opened 
for the relief. During Taksin's reign, he sent three envoys to China to try and build relations there. However, to no avail, because in China, uh, the, the dynasty at the time, the emperor at the time, uh, refused to deal with Taksin because he had no legitimate claim to the throne. So they refused to do any kind of business with him or build any relations with Taksin. Interestingly, however, Taksin was actually, his father was Chinese or part Chinese uh, and his mother was Siamese. So it's strange that the Chinese would not want to do business with him initially, wouldn't, didn't want to build any relations with him. However, this changed uh, because, because of the need of the time uh, and there was a need to rebuild this, uh, this area and, this, and then the country, uh, Taksin uh, actually thought about getting some help from the Chinese, some Chinese immigrants uh, to come to Thailand, to come to Siam and to try and rebuild the country. So Chinese, so during this period, Chinese immigration, immigration increased greatly, rapidly. So this is where the story kind of led. My initial in investigation into the chi Chinatown and the Chinese influence in Bangkok led me to this point where the Chinese immigrants came to uh, uh, Siam to the capital here in Tonbury to help rebuild and to help build uh, the, the city here under King Taksin's rule. So under the strain of the, 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 the times, King Taksin started to grow a little bit crazy. Uh, reports have mentioned insanity, uh, mental issues. Uh, what One of the main concerns was that he claimed that he was uh, divine and that, that he indeed was the future Buddha. So more and more he increased his practice of meditation and then he even demanded that the, the Buddhist monks at the time, he wanted the Buddhist monks at the time to uh, acknowledge his divinity. More about Taksin's mental problems and the, his untimely, well maybe timely death. I'm gonna tell you that story at the next location which I'm going to go to the palace of Tonburi uh, and also there's a, uh, which is right next to Wat Arun. So that's my next stop. I need to stop filming because my camera has overheated. It's so hot here. So off to the next site. So pro tip, if you're looking to cross here, this roundabout's absolute chaos, but I found a pattern. These guys get a red light at some stage, so you can cross there. And then these guys get a red light at some stage. So if you want to actually go and have a closer look at the uh, Taxon Shrine, that's my pro tip of how to cross the road here.